For the longest time, the best available VPN protocol was OpenVPN. In early 2020, that all changed with the introduction of WireGuard, which most VPNs have now adopted as their default protocol. But not to be outdone, ExpressVPN is trying to convince everybody that Lightway is the newest, most unique, and better option. Let the VPN protocol wars begin. Welcome to All Things Secured. My name's Josh, and just in case you weren't 100% sure, a VPN protocol, which is the rules that govern the encryption between your device and the VPN server, is incredibly important. One protocol might offer faster speeds, while another provides better security. The more you use a VPN and switch between available protocols, the more you'll notice this difference, particularly in regards to speed. The problem is that most of the current VPN protocols were developed decades ago and have been adapted over time to meet various enterprise needs. Instead of reinventing the wheel, they just added more code to the wheel until a couple decades later, we've got a massive stinking wheel that gets the job done, but it isn't the most efficient, fastest way to do it. That, in a nutshell, is OpenVPN. And don't get me wrong, it's a good connection protocol. It's been time tested to provide the best balance of encryption and speed to both companies and individuals. And really, as we continue on with this comparison, that's the most important characteristic about OpenVPN that you need to remember, time tested. This is the one thing that neither WireGuard nor Lightway can say. And you know, perhaps the best way to describe the differences between these protocols is to visualize it in a chart. Let's start with this time tested concept first. As you can see, OpenVPN has been around for quite a bit longer than both WireGuard and Lightway. OpenVPN and WireGuard are both open source software, which means that it can be audited for security flaws by any and everyone, including you if you wanted to. And as I record this, ExpressVPN's Lightway protocol is still in beta, and although they promise to release the core of the code base to the open source community, for now we have to trust that the protocol is secure. Also, OpenVPN and WireGuard are general purpose protocols, which means that you'll find them being used as connection options in numerous private and commercial VPN services. Lightway, on the other hand, is proprietary to ExpressVPN. And although I wouldn't be surprised if the core code base gets used elsewhere once they make it public, for now, you'll only find it on the ExpressVPN software. That being said, WireGuard and Lightway actually have a lot more in common. So much so, in fact, that ExpressVPN has had to work hard to convince people like me that Lightway is not some derivative of WireGuard in some way, just like Nordlinks's NordVPN's implementation of WireGuard. Both WireGuard and Lightway share a much more efficient code base, which, at least in theory, should lead to faster implementation and speeds. It also translates into a more efficient use of battery. Most people don't realize that connecting to a VPN actually drains your battery faster than a regular internet connection. And these new protocols have improved that quite a bit. The connections are significantly more stable as well. For example, if I were to connect to OpenVPN here at my office while my phone is on the Wi-Fi network, and then I were to leave my office and transition to the cellular network, OpenVPN has a difficult time maintaining that connection. Most of the time, it either gets dropped or it takes a while to switch over. WireGuard and Lightway, on the other hand, are able to maintain a more stable connection that can easily jump between networks without compromising your security. So at this point, the biggest question I've had, and you've probably had as well, is this. What's the difference between WireGuard and Lightway? And honestly, until ExpressVPN opens up the Lightway source code, it's pretty difficult to answer that question. At first glance, even for me, they look exactly the same. They tout the same benefits and the same efficiencies. The biggest difference right now is that WireGuard has independently audited, updated, and tested over the past 10 to 12 months, whereas the only information we have on ExpressVPN's Lightway is from people like me who've only been beta testers for a couple months. With ExpressVPN size, I have no doubt they're putting an incredible amount of resources into the proper development of this protocol. Right now, early tests don't seem to show faster speeds that they claim, but I'm confident that they'll get that fixed. At this point though, it's all about one thing, trust. Until they open up their code base and provide at least a little bit of transparency, ExpressVPN users are having to trust that the security measures in Lightway match those of OpenVPN or WireGuard. One thing's for sure, the past decade hasn't seen much innovation in the VPN industry at all. It's been a bunch of the same boring stuff with just hyped up marketing. This past year, however, with WireGuard and now Lightway coming out, it's actually been a little exciting. You're gonna see a shift towards marketing more around a VPN protocol because quite frankly, this is the foundation of your connection security. 
So what do you think? Are you willing to give ExpressVPN's lightweight protocol a try? Or better yet, do you trust these newer protocols over the more established OpenVPN protocols? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, give it a like, consider subscribing so I can continue to develop more security-related content here on All Things Secured.